Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Tally and welcome to a book review video. I haven't done one in such a long, long time. I'm excited because I've had such good reading months and participated on the Latinx-a-thon two times, hosted by different hosts each different month. And I'm so excited to share the books that I read for those months. And I also hosted the Stephen King-a-thon as you guys may have seen from different vlogs. And it was such a fun month of reading Stephen King. Before I even get started with the book review, I wanted to talk about Annalisa, and Annalisa is such an amazing jewelry brand, and I'm so happy that I'm collaborating with them again. They did send me more pieces, and I received these little hoops that are twisted, and they're just so pretty. So I went ahead and purchased some pieces with my own money, and I purchased these gold spider spider they're snakes shit sorry <laughs> i also purchased these golden snakes them so much and i also bought these hoops that are just attached to your ear they also sent me this necklace i am so in love with it it's just so beautiful um i even showed it to my mom and she went ahead and bought some stuff for herself my sister as well sent me some pieces when i collaborated the first time with them and they're still in good condition well, these earrings, they are long lasting. They have exceptional quality. I've been looking for a jewelry place that can be long lasting and I think I finally found my favorite jewelry place to shop at. What I really like about it is that they have fair prices, no luxury markups, and their prices start from $35 and up. So there's prices for everyone. I definitely think that the prices are very fair because of their quality. They have the best noble metals that are handcrafted with care and that's what i really like about it they offset 100 percent of their carbon emissions starting with the sourcing of raw materials I feel like any necklace will match with any earrings that you purchase from Ana Luisa. i usually just pair it up with my hair down a ponytail look good with anything honestly lisa is currently running an exclusive black friday sale you can get their limited offers right here down below in my description box hope you guys can check them out they are worth it such an incredible jewelry brand store and i'm so excited that i collaborated with them again let's get started with the book reviews the first book that i'm going to talk about is ghosts of harvard by francesca Saritella. It falls in the mystery genre and it definitely is very spooky about ghosts. I feel like I did not get bored with this book because of how fast-paced in some sections it was. It was definitely not slow in my opinion. I feel like in each chapter, I feel like each chapter was very interesting and it led to the plot of the whole book and it is about our main character Katie whose brother commits suicide and some trigger warnings will be suicide, full of grief, and they just feel like they're there's no way that they're gonna move on with their life. So Katie decides that she will be attending Harvard where her brother attended, wants to attend because she wants to get to the bottom of why her brother committed suicide. Her brother did have schizophrenia, thought that his mental illness led him to his suicide. Katie starts hearing voices in Harvard and she thinks that she might have the same mental illness as her brother. And uh, this is such a good book. I would really recommend you guys reading it. I did like the ending and five out of five for me. So I'm excited. You guys have to read it. Yay, yay. Elizabeth Acevedo. Okay, so she became my favorite author this year, I have to say, after reading The Poet X. And if you did watch one of my vlogs where I was reading it, you already know that The Poet X became one of my favorite books of the year. And I have to say, Elizabeth Acevedo's writing is just magical. And like Paperback Dreams mentioned in one of her vlogs, it reminds me of why I should not write. Because of how beautiful her writing is and how um, beautiful her poems are. Her poetry is it's just beautiful okay and then yeah so i read the poet x i listened to it on the audiobook i finished it in an hour maybe five hours chef's kiss i also read with the fire on high by elizabeth acevedo another beautiful story but i did rate this a four out of five 
love the main character i loved her friend just love the whole storyline of this um imani she got pregnant during her freshman year of high school and she only has her abuelita her grandma with her and the only place that makes her happy is the kitchen so so she likes to cook so she's always dreamed of working in the kitchen and going to college to become a chef but she feels like because she got pregnant and she feels that it would be impossible for her because she needs to take care of her daughter i just felt like it was such an incredible story about a teenage girl who puts everything aside and she decides that she was and she decides that she's going to do anything possible to achieve her dream, which is to be a chef. Books that I read were All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and Brendan Kelly, and I also read Dear Martin by Nick Stone. If you guys don't know, the second book for these for this book is out already, and I definitely cannot wait to pick it up. But right now I am on a book ban, so I can't buy any books right now, and I'm sticking to it. So just play just a huge topic is racism. Um, police brutality so sad gut-wrenching and so so powerful and compulsively readable just amazing stories you guys have to definitely read these of some of such incredible authors in my opinion a okay, five out of five both another one who became my favorite author is adam silvera oh my gosh i love adam silvera i can't wait to read more of Adam Silvera's books. I'm so excited it's for the very first time for the Latinx Readathon. And I fell in love with his writing. I fell in love with his characters. I such an incredible job at coming up with such beautiful and amazing characters that I really cared for and that made me cry so much. Both died at the end. Um, you will definitely cry. It's obviously predictable because it tells us in the title, but it's something that you expect but at the same time throughout the book i was like oh, he can like switch the whole storyline and they can survive somehow but obviously it doesn't end like that and you guys already know because of the title so this is not a spoiler about two teenagers who have death cast in their world where people call them and tell them that they're gonna they have 24 hours to die september 5th a little after midnight they receive the call that they're going to die in 24 hours so mateo and rufus who are the main characters in our story they're totally st they're total strangers and they meet on this website I forgot what it is because they were both looking for a new friend to meet on that day on their last day they meet up for their last final epic day where <sighs> you guys have to read because yeah it's about grief friendship death and Mateo did have some people in the past that died Another book by Adam Silvera that I read was Hope More Happy Than Not This is such an amazing book, you guys have to definitely read it It is about another teenager who experiences grief Twisty, it does have a twist, so I really like that about it It's very heartbreaking Trigger warnings might be suicide or are suicide It's themes like grief, unhappiness, and memories that we sometimes want to forget because they just hurt us so much. He seems like he can't find happiness ever since his father committed suicide. And um, she, he is dating this girl named Genevieve. And then he meets this new guy from the neighborhood named Thomas. And he can't deny his unexpected feelings for him. He can't stay away from Thomas because he feels that Thomas is his happiness. And then there's a plot twist and it's freaking good. You guys have to read this, I really liked it. I also read Mexican Gothic. I'm not gonna talk about this one, but I did rate it a five out of five. Um, my first favorite book of the year after, after Mystery and the Poet X. So um, I've heard so many controversies on this book, but it definitely was one of my favorites. I'm not gonna talk so much about it because I do have a vlog on it. So the book that I read was You Had Me at Ola. This was such um, a disappointment, kind of. I did enjoy it. I think it was very enjoyable, kind of cringy at times, just because the main characters were so childish, childish. There we go. Ashton, he is a 40 year old something guy acted like he was 10 years old i did enjoy the representation of latinos in this book i've never read a book that has so much diversity and finally someone talks about colorism in telenovelas i saw it a lot growing up but it was definitely very sexy um i don't recommend you reading it if you are 
15 years were younger. It's very, very romantic. I did like the ending. I guess I didn't like this book just because of their characterizations, but I feel like they developed so freaking well because at the end, oh shit, I'm not gonna spoil it, sorry guys. I rated this a three out of five. So a book that I really enjoyed um, for Stephen King upon is Misery. It became my favorite book by Stephen King. At the end, I was just like very suspensed and I just wanted it to get to the bottom of it. Is he gonna survive? Is Paul Sheldon gonna survive or is he gonna die? I loved Stephen King's writing in this book. I, it was very suspenseful, gut-wrenching, and I feel like Annie is one of the best characters he has ever written because she's just so horrifying and so scary. She has murdered a lot of other people and what makes it even better about this book that it that it was based on one setting and that is inside Annie's inside Annie's home and kept Paul Sheldon the writer captive. It did get boring at times because of the same setting, but it was just very suspenseful to see what Annie was going to do to Paul. I think that if you want to read Stephen King, I, I would recommend you guys reading this book first. So I rated it a five out of five. Pet Cemetery. I feel like this is my least favorite by Stephen King. This has been his most frightening novel because I feel like he related to it. He wrote it with the intention of relating it to his personal life. The reason why I did not enjoy this book, I feel like it was so slow. I feel like the characters were so dumb. I was not a big fan of Lewis in my opinion. This book took me a little bit longer to finish because of how slow it was. I rated this a 3 out of 5. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the link down in my description box for Ana Luisa. I should definitely check it out. And if you do, go ahead and use my link down in the description box. Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Oh